Hey everybody, welcome to the Flirting with Travel podcast. I am Misty. I am Dion Bay. I'm Lexi. Um, weird flex alert. I'm the middle. The most. I'm the youngest. Moving on. Um, today no, we're going to be talking about like Airbnb it. and how that's affecting with like with, where they're today. Mm-hmm. We hope you enjoy. So I was reading an article on uh, CNN.com, and they were just kind of uh-huh. talking about, like, the state of Airbnb in, I'm sorry, CNBC, to get my facts right, um, but the state of, like, Airbnb this year, and one of the things that they threw out is that Airbnb was worth, and let me just make sure I get this right, $31 billion in March of 2017, but by April of this year, it's worth $18 billion. Oh my goodness. Right. How did they lose so much value? Well, I think in three years. Well, no, I think it really just happened during COVID because I mean, imagine like you have all of these bookings lined up and then they all get canceled worldwide because they have over 7 million listings in the world. And I bet you maybe 2% of them were kept, if that. Mm-hmm. I, this is I don't know the numbers, but I I do Airbnb sometimes when I go and work out of um, Florida because mm-hmm. the market is so unstable and because I'm there so little, it's like pointless to get an apartment. Okay, so this Airbnb situation, like I I'm going to do it now because I don't know how long I'm going to be doing like the commuting or... Just if I'm there for two weeks, it's no point to get a real live-in place. You know what I mean? To pay yeah. utilities and all that stuff. So with Airbnb, I feel like they're becoming more aggressive with sending out like, they're like, you're pre-approved for this place. I'll ask them about, because I need to charge my car. So I'll, I'll send a message like, hey, do you have an outlet? I need to plug in. And they'll answer the question. And then they'll send you an invitation like, come book at my place. I'm like, whoa, aggressive much? They're like, you're pre-approved. Come book now. But I guess they have to do it because they are trying to cement reservations. They have to. I think it might be an uptick, though, in Florida with them reopening the beaches and... Because Florida's insane. Insane in the membrane. But I have to go back to work (laughs) because they're open up. Do you think, do you think that domestic travel has been impacted? Therefore, Airbnb's, like, uh, rates will be, you know, yes. Um, you don't think the rates look lower? Look lower? I mean, I, maybe, I've not, I've not been paying attention to, to it. Because usually, like, if we travel, we're in hotels. Um, the last Airbnb we did was for your birthday. You don't just like randomly check Airbnb just to see what's going on in the world, just in case you get an opportunity to go and you need to know where to stay? No. Oh. Don't worry, I'm telling you, my no. planning for trips is for shit. Airbnb so. is actually very difficult. I think consumer interface with Airbnb is very difficult because they are just a platform where they allow a whole bunch of homeowners to come in. They don't really manage it. And I feel like because I've had very bad experiences with Airbnb, specifically because I live overseas and they're constantly wanting to verify payment um, methods, which I understand, but like they canceled my account with no warning, with no, they told me, they literally sent me an email and said, we're sorry, you no longer have an Airbnb account and we don't have to give you a reason. We don't have to explain to you why. It... You keep, you have a residence in the States, so I don't understand how that's an issue because uh, I've not had an issue with them and we have a residence in the States and I was thinking like maybe because you're, but then I thought you have a house. So what's the, I what's travel. the issue I, with the payment? I tra- we travel. If, I mean, sometimes if you're going with multiple people, you want to book. And Are you like, sure you want- that one host, you didn't like do some real crazy shit? And they were just like, send out the alerts to everybody. Never. Because even, uh, listen, when I go to Dubai and I was booking my Airbnbs, they make you give cash deposits. 
gifts. Like what? I had to give five thousand dollars as a cash deposit one time. What? How do you do that? With like, how does that even work? When you book it, you have to go meet the person to give them the deposit, or like, how do you reserve ahead of time? How does that so even you work? reserve it? You book it through the Airbnb portal. When you show up, you have to give them the cash. They hold on to it, and then when they come and clear the apartment, if they say nothing is wrong, they give you back your money. Hmm. What if they like launder your money? I've been watching Ozarks, by the way. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> what if they? I just I don't know. That just feels shifty to me. I didn't go no, there, Airbnb like, as, a, as a yes. general company i think is actually customer service they're not friendly they're actual shit i can see how they've lost so much money because when they came out i, I was okay. reading this article on travel noir right hey, and Disney. they were saying this huh? don't hold back i won't i won't <laughs> i want i want everybody to understand where we're at in this. <laughs> when they came out Airbnb was like, oh my God, it was this new phenomenon and everybody loves it. And so many owners or renters put their property in there as a way to make money and it was great. But the customer service aspect, the whole back end of Airbnb doesn't exist. It's, it's all contracted out of people's homes because they're remote working to support it. And I just feel like the standard might be a little bit lower. Um, however, I will let me, I'm going to offer uh, an alternative. There's a place, there's a business called Sonder Stays. And they basically are a business that goes through, and they're global as well, and they lease homes from owners, and they do long-term leases. And then they, they curate them to a very high standard. And once they lease the home from the homeowner, it is now a Saunders Day. They, they put it to the standard of like a, a four-star hotel, and they, they lease it out and under like a hotel type of brand and it's it's global it's everywhere and i feel like it's a better option because airbnb is funneled by a bunch of homeowners that are renting their place out and i think it's an awesome hustle personally for airbnb and so, for owners in their time saunder takes the middleman out of it yeah and to, it's right. essentially so, like a home that's run like a hotel and the person still owns it and they get proceeds but they're not involved in the booking process exactly and they're really dope stays and they go right. in and they provide you a four-star hotel service so i was googling it and just looking at their stays kind of versus airbnb now they're not as and in as many cities because i think right now they're in like 32 cities but they do have right. international they're in like rome edinburgh dublin Bay. dubai yeah. um i mean I wasn't that seriously researching, but you never know when you just want to get a getaway and be prepared. But they have like, <laughs> why does it sound like you are trying to, you're a fugitive, Bonnie and Clyde over here. You never know when you need to make a break because I've been doing You have to keep it up. <laughs> no, I just, you, I've got vacation on the brain. And when they give me the opportunity, though. I will go somewhere and I want to be You don't want to let the first wave no. Past though, you want to be part of the first wave. I would like to be one of the first people out there. You would rather have um, the uh, stomach flu than to have the what was it? Oh, food poisoning than to bring bed bugs. So yeah, you bed bugs sound terrible. Well, I'll live. Bed bugs are really hard to get rid of. You never want bed bugs. Well, bed bugs can terrorize your life for up to a year. You never want those. Those are horrible. Exactly. I would take food poisoning eight times over bed bugs. Damn. Misty, you get food poisoning eating at five star restaurants. So honestly, yes. like food just doesn't agree with you in right. general. So I'm a I'm a sensitive individual. God made me special. I react to certain things. You, you are special for sure. Sensitive in certain regards, but I love you to death. So much. So anyway, do you think Airbnb is a lot of homeowners that are participating in the Airbnb business are going out of business or they're hurting because of they I gotta think be hurting. It's going to it's going to thin the herd. Yeah. I think it's going to cut out a lot of people that aren't super hosts. Um, a lot of uh, hosts that don't have great reviews. Because like the mm -hmm. ones that I was looking at for Florida, like just they had tons of like 80 up to like hundreds of reviews and they were all good saying the same thing. It's clean. The host is friendly. Like they're very much involved, like as if you were staying at a hotel, 
So maybe mm -hmm. like a Sonder, it's going to to upgrade. Yeah, like Sonder because they have to be. Well, I think it's going to thin the herd because people are losing their houses right now. Like imagine if you had bought a house with That's the intention <laughs> of it being an Airbnb, right. and then like for what since the last like two three months now you don't have. Yeah. Um, you just, you're not able to make payments because you don't have anybody reserving. What if you go into foreclosure and you can't keep it? Because that was part well, of Well, I, I do think that the banks are way more forgiving this go around as opposed to 2008 when people were foreclosing their homes because they've made so many more concessions in that regard. Yeah, but I think the property groups that are like buying up blocks of homes and putting them on Airbnb are going to come out of this unscathed. Yeah. Whereas the individual yeah. homeowner who just had their second home and they were using this as like their primary source of income, they might. So not. you don't think that you don't think that Airbnb or Saunders Days or any of the basic home sharing platforms, Home Away, VRBO, et cetera will benefit from maybe an increase in like domestic travel because if we can't go internationally, there's so many places in America that are gorgeous. Do you think that yes. is a thing? I think that they will. I think they will because as states start, so the, the urge to just be out in the world is so great right now that yeah. people are thinking maybe a home that's a single unit is going to be safer than, um, a hotel with with people like going in and out even though they are doing they are taking measures to you know social distance and whatnot like we stayed at mm -hmm. marriott for example mm -hmm. they have like marked everywhere um on the floors like social six feet apart tables you know same thing uh elevators only two people at a time are allowed in um but i still think that people are going to mentally feel like airbnbs and homes are a safer bet which is weird because i would almost think that a hotel like they standardize their cleaning versus like an mm -hmm. airbnb you could go to one and they probably have an amazing cleaning crew that's like sanitizing everything then you go to another that's like the homeowners just in there with a bucket of dirty water mopping their floors Sure. Well, sure. I mean, but like, you could say like there's a standard for the cleaning, but you still have, pe there's still the people factor, right? That's and true. And are they really cleaning Well, the I mean, toilet? we're Marriott Bonvoy members, and yeah. Marriott came out with their entire, like, how they are cleaning their hotels, the different standards they've implemented in the rise of COVID, and how mm -hmm. they're handling it going forward. Mm -hmm. Oh, you have to get, um, um temperature checked each time you go in and out what? every time you go in and out mm -hmm. you swipe your key they have someone sitting at the door they take your temperature they tell you what it is like mm -hmm. most of the time so if you're like three days into your reservation your temperature spikes they're like oh your wow. stuff might be up there but get on out of there we'll grab someone put on a hazmat suit and throw your stuff on the yeah. street yeah damn you think they're throwing Pretty you on the street just toss it just you're out of here so I think the way Airbnb can survive this or try to survive it is to standardize. Yeah, like but how do you standardize with 100 million owners? How do you do that? I think what Saunders doing. I think that's how they're figuring it out. Yeah, because one thing I did Take like about out. their website was they talked about like the bedding. It's consistently mm -hmm. nice. And then I flipped through and all their Airbnbs, they all have like the fluffy comforters and like the mm -hmm. pristine white sheets. Cause that's something about Airbnb. I will not stay in an Airbnb if I flip through it and they don't have like white comforters because to me it just makes it feel like they're not washing it. I don't know why. The Airbnbs I look through, I don't think any of them had, especially in Florida, like their design sense is like. But no Florida is, is one of the top travel tourist destinations in the country. So they're gonna have, I mean, they're, they're a high vacation spot, right? Most most exactly. cities in, in Florida. Which is why the Airbnbs are starting. Because I looked at one place and I was like, oh, I really like this place. It was a super host. She was really nice. It was close to, you know, the airport. And um, I went back to, because I needed to get my schedule. And then I went back to like book for the dates that I knew I would be working and it's booked up. So now I found a different place. She's not a super host, but all of her reviews are amazing. She's right close to the airport. Um, 
uh, like, and they, they're started, they're calling them bungalows, not apartments, like the little uh, casitas off the property. Yeah. Are bungalows. But she got great reviews on cleanliness because that's really what I was looking for. Like, it doesn't need to be the fanciest place. I'm just there to work. But, but you know what? Um, Saunders Stays has 45% off for 30 days or more stays right now or 40% off for 15 days or more. I was on the website. I saw that. I you might look that up I, because, and I'm glad I didn't book um, because I want to, yeah. I want to check that out and see, um, maybe do like a little video, like review because get like a real taste of mm -hmm. I'm coming in, I'm working. I need, I want like a hotel like experience, but like mm -hmm. one, one individual like casita place. And I like that they are going to make it like a mixture of a hotel and Airbnb. So I'm on the text on the route. I think they offer like a concierge like service. I'm pretty sure it said like, mm -hmm. if you need anything, contact us and within 24 hours, we'll be able to help you out. So yes. mm -hmm. like, don't quote me on it. Cause I was just reading through it pretty quick, but I'm pretty sure they offer something like that. But we'll see. I'll try to, I'll record it. I'll try to record it, like put it in stories or something. So like, just keep stay tuned guys because I'm I'm going to we're gonna see what happens. It might be rapid fire, guerrilla style shooting, but uh <laughs> I mean like shit gets real when it's time to go to work. I don't have time to prep everything. I'm I'm not a planner, which is why I was saying I love high itineraries because it just I just need a place to eat, sleep, charge my car. <laughs> Good. Do you think that um, be, with domestic travel, because so we're talking about Airbnbs and, and those yeah. things like off grid living. Right. So people are going to Yosemite and okay. all of our national parks and whatnot. Do you think like the Airstream business, the RV parks, the RVs, those rental businesses are now able to like really come up in the world like they have a space because there's so much more focus on that as opposed yeah, to like air travel. We can like rent an RV or an Airstream or something of that nature? Definitely think so. All the people that I know um, that are going to like parks in and around Nevada are driving their own cars. No one has as of yet rented, um, but I'm sure that space they have room to breathe now because again, it's like Airbnbs. It's an enclosed, um, space you don't have to be around people so you don't have to wear your mask unless you're out and about you can travel mm -hmm. at your own your own pace i think it'll definitely impact road trips yeah, yeah. i'm not a fan but you know how you feel about those oh my gosh i get in the car are we there yet are we there yet i need something <laughs> crunchy sweet salty um i need to stop and stretch my legs no food is important it's a staple one might say, that's the life. <laughs> you gotta live. No, I do think like things like that will pick up. Um, I think camping and like general hiking and adventure touring is gonna become a lot more popular. In fact, even in I Vegas, agree. they had to shut down yeah. Red Rock because people were losing their minds. They were just going to Red Rock in droves. Like, I'm socially distancing. But the trails were so crowded that you're like, hello. Yeah. Nice seeing you here. <laughs> Did you get COVID test? You ready? Get COVID test. Right? Talking about, I brought you my swab for you. Yeah. Oh, I bet boating is crazy right now, especially oh, like nuts. Any weekend. holiday weekend, I am sure yeah. that everyone's like just out on the water because, like, I'm in a boat. What's the worst that could happen? And to that point, though, I did read some article about like what's high risk and what's low risk. And they said going to a restaurant's high risk because people linger. But like boating, going to the beach tends to be low risk as long as you distance and the water is pretty safe. I have to say that, and I feel like Bahamas is not as um, isolated, I feel like, as Kuwait would be. But coming back to the States, one of the things I was really excited to do was eat at restaurants. And I thought that that wouldn't be me. So maybe with the first wave of people going out. I might be amongst that first wave too, but like being super cautious with my homemade um, sanitizer. But it's, <laughs> it, feeding, at, 
eating at restaurants is I'm like it's just nice to just be sitting there and like out and I don't have to clean the stuff and mm -hmm. bring it to my house and all this stuff so I don't know so legitimately have you guys really have you made your reservation at hot and juicy apparently Diami's just showing up places and they're taking her I had gone to somewhere and they're like you better get a reservation so we're gonna try this out no, I'm not going to lie. The first day that the governor is like opening things up, I was just downtown. I'm like, I'm not going to be one of those people that's just like in a restaurant the first day. Why don't we take this slow? Just be yeah. smart about it. Mm -hmm. And so I thought, okay, that's cool. But then I was downtown taking pictures and then I saw a restaurant open and I looked at my friend. I'm like, oh my goodness, what if we just like stopped in for a drink and maybe like a nibble? And <laughs> one of them peeps. I know. Straight <laughs> turned into one of them peeps immediately all that talk it was so nice i didn't even realize i'd missed restaurants until i was there yes. and i was like oh this is nice not cooking for yourself not doing dishes just having someone oh, bring you your water your drinks you're like yeah another round but first Talk of all but you don't cook so anyway so for me i cook so sitting at a restaurant is nice because there is no there are no dishes every freaking day i'm like that would cause me to be like, do I need to eat because these dishes? So that's really that's why, why I'm cook. excited. See? I don't cook. So I don't have to eat. do dishes. So I don't have to do dishes. Air diet of a... All right, I'm full for the <laughs> You know what takes no dishes? My bowl of air. <laughs> wow. Well. <laughs> okay, so are we jumping into some trivia? Let's jump into some trivia. You have to do a lightning round. Do you have five minutes of a lightning round? Um, well, it depends on how fast the internet's working. <laughs> okay. So okay. let's try this out. What is the most visited tourist attraction in the world? Times Square, Disney World, the Coliseum, or the Eiffel Tower? Eiffel Tower. Coliseum. I think the answers come at the end. Sorry, guys. Oh. Next. <laughs> <laughs> so we said Coliseum is the Eiffel Tower. I got you. I Wait, got you. write this down. Misty, take your phone out and put I, down. I got it. I got it. Next. You got it. Okay. Oh, next one. Diami should have this. The Bahamas is one of the most popular destinations for U.S. residents to visit in the Caribbean. On average, how cold does it get in the Bahamas? 40 degrees, and this is Fahrenheit. 50 degrees, 60 degrees, or 70 degrees? 70. 60 degrees. It, was, it felt like 60 when we were there, didn't it? Right, um, moving on, next. Champagne is less than 100 miles away from Paris. How many bottles of champagne are shipped around the country from there each year? 1.5 million bottles, 322 million bottles, 525 million bottles, or 1 billion bottles? 525. Okay, say it again. I think the first one, 1.5 million? No, 1.5 million. Where's a billion? Uh, 1 billion, 525 million, 322 million, or 1.5 million? 525 a billion okay i'm going with a billion too and last one that we're gonna do which major canadian city has not hosted the olympics montreal toronto calgary or vancouver maybe calgary vancouver montreal. no vancouver did a winter olympics didn't they oh god like, damn it i don't know not that I long guess. ago montreal i feel like montreal i'm gonna go with calgary but i might be wrong Okay, so okay. let's get to some answers. Uh huh. So the first one is Times Square. Oh shit, we were all yeah, wrong. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> it got more than thirty-nine million annual visitors in two thousand ten. That seems kind of old, though. I mean, I'm okay. starting to doubt this. Uh, number two is seventy degrees. Good job, Bianca. You know where you live. Hey. Oh, next one. We were all wrong. 322 million bottles. Damn, and I was going to go with that, too. I thought and it was way more winos. Next. No, so champagne, champagne is only legally champagne if it's from the Champagne province. Otherwise, it's just sparkling wine. Yeah, any wine from France. Cava. But, like, sparkling yeah. wine, cava. Prosecco. And, uh, yeah. That's so Prosecco. funny because a lot of people are like, oh, champ like sparkling wine. I don't want that. I want champagne. There's a difference. And a lot of people don't know that. Oh, well, I mean, like, there is a difference because it's actually French. But, Next. like, oh, it's champagne. Like, it's not champagne if it's not, uh, you know, if it's not called champagne. It's going to throw out an unpopular opinion. I know we don't have a lot of time, but Prosecco is better than champagne. Definitely. Let's, what's the I next answer? Know. Last one was uh, where they haven't hosted Toronto. 
oh, Drake would be so upset. Isn't that what he's saying? <laughs> it's coming, though. It's coming. OVO. It's OVO time. OVO. That's like a hotel um, on the strip or with OYO on um, Tropicana and, like, Las Vegas Boulevard. It used to be Hooters. Oh. It's OYO. I thought it was OVO. We drove past it. I was like, OVO? Drake? What? <laughs> he's going to try and buy some stock. We're giving him too much credit. Sorry, Drake. No. But All right. Come on, show, Drake. Honestly, let's just try and get, like, the actual Olympics to happen. Right now, Tokyo's still trying to get on. Oh, man. They Girl, need to let that go. That shit's not happening. Well, no, they already moved it. It's not happening until 2021. I think this is the first time that they've had to move an Olympics in, oh, I don't even think they moved the Olympics for World War II. They didn't. They, they no. didn't think they did. They left it in yeah. Germany. That's well, crazy. we'll figure out when they move the last Olympics. Thank you for tuning in to Flirting with Travel podcast. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications. Thank you. And like this video.